Hi, beautiful. How are you? You look, may I say it, stunning? Sorry, I'm like a little oh. nervous saying that to you. So today we're watching people color their hair from blonde to black. The thing that people like to do the most and they like to use the wrong method to do it. So I'm ready to see a lot of people ruin their hair today. I'm ready to see people have green hair. I'm ready to see people not fill their hair before they go black. And I'm ready for just black dye all over their faces and their necks and their body. We'll see how much of that comes true. But first, I wanna say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. So learn new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. It's curated especially for learning. That means there's no ads and there's always new premium classes coming out. So that means you can stay focused and follow your creativity wherever it brings you. Skillshare classes combine video lessons, class projects, and hands-on feedback. There's short lessons to fit any schedule. They have videos on literally so many topics, including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and literally so much more. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's live classes. Experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers. And while you're watching, you'll be working with other members, so it's like a big community. Whether you're a dabbler or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, you're a creative, baby. So discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. I'm personally obsessed with a class by Marquez Brownlee that is called YouTube Success Shoot, Script, and Edit with MKBHD. If you don't already know him, he's an amazing YouTuber and I just love learning more about the process of other YouTubers and how they create their video content. So if you're somebody who wants to be a YouTuber and has no idea how any of it works or how to do it, Marquez does an amazing job of helping you understand what it takes to be a YouTuber and how much work goes into it. And I personally just find it all very inspiring. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. All right, you guys, let's watch the videos. This first video is by LED. You guys already know what we came here to do. I got my tools, I got my gloves, and I got my dye. I've done a lot of research, and most signs seem to indicate that this, this is, is a, a bad, bad idea. idea. It's probably not gonna work very well. Now it's time to mix my dyes into the shade I want. This is Arctic Fox hair dye in the shade Transylvania. It's a blue-based black, and that's bad for me because I have blonde hair, and when you mix blue with yellow, you get green. So we know color theory now is what you're telling me. Is that what's going on here? You know that it's a blue based black, which means the blue is gonna mix with your yellow hair and create green. And so you don't want that. So what are you gonna do? Tell us, tell us, I wanna know more. So I'm gonna make this a purple based black. I'm glad that she's thinking, like that's great. Those are my standards now. Like she's thinking and I'm like, thank you for having thought about the process. <laughs> the nerves are starting to get to me. <sighs> it's gonna be okay, girl, it's gonna be okay. This is gonna work, you're gonna be an emo queen. Do it for the emos. Oh God, this is me. I love an emo queen. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I mean, it's in there. I feel like this semi-permanent color is gonna give her really sheer coverage with very little dimension. Something like a semi-permanent color would be better for her. Something that you mix with a developer um, in order to use. Something that's like conditioning based like this might not give her the depth that she's looking for. Especially Arctic Fox. Arctic Fox is not a heavily conditioning color. It's really just a deposit only color. I'm just gonna separate my hair into different sections. How in the freaking? Well, we need gloves. We need gloves. Oh my God. Taking my gloves off was a mistake. Oh, she, great, she took them off. People do this like barehanded sometimes. No, nobody's doing it barehanded. I'll tell you that much. Well, there might be like one person in the whole salon who does it barehanded and we're like, girl, like put the gloves on. You're not impressing anybody. Like your hands look terrible. This is a stressful activity. I'm so scared that I'm gonna miss a spot. I just want this to look good. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I can almost guarantee you're gonna miss spots because you're not even using a brush. Like you're not even sectioning shit out. Let me tell you something. If you just take sections with your hands and just put color on top of it, how is the inside gonna get color? And then also, comb that through. 
Don't be scared to use a comb. It's good for you. Oh my God, look how much color is on her neck. All right, I think we're about done and I had just the perfect amount of dye for my whole head. When it comes to starting permanent color, guys, comb it through. It just makes things so much more even. I'm also a little bit worried because her hair is natural. A lot of it is just highlights and then in between is her natural and her roots are natural. Sometimes starting permanent color doesn't attach that well to natural hair color. We gotta rinse all of this out with cold water. And because this stuff is so pigmented, that could take a while. I recommend washing with lukewarm water for sunny and permanent colors. Like it is really hard to get anything off of your scalp or face or hair with cold water. Like it's not the best cleaning agent if you've ever tried it before. Lord have mercy on my dumb idiot brain. At no point during this entire process did it occur to me to just turn around and face the other way so the water would run away from my face instead of into it. I'm sure you can all guess what kind of bull crud we're about to see next. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> She managed to dye her literal entire body. Oh, it's definitely black. It's also really blue. She doesn't seem to be loving it. This looks pretty freaking black to me. This is the emo black I was going for. This is what I wanted for myself and it actually worked. But wait, as we both thought the video was over, it's not. She has an update. My black hair is very quickly turning into green hair. First of all, that's what happens when you don't fill your hair with like a copper or orange or anything before going dark. It's an important step or else your hair will turn green. Second of all, I actually like the color. I do, I think it's really unique and really pretty. Like it's really cool. Am I the only one? It's like an emerald black. Like kind of vibing with it, not gonna lie. I'm gonna go over all of my hair with this orange dye and then I'm gonna go back over my hair again with the black dye mixed with some more of the orange dye. I probably would use a black formula that has a lot of orange in it. I probably wouldn't try to fill it after it's already been colored. That usually only works before you dye it black. You know, you can't really like post fill it. You can, I, te I guess technically, but it'd be much easier to just use a black formula with a lot of orange to counteract the blues. We got it dudes. And we even have a little bit left over to mix in with the black when we come back to that part. So I'm gonna let all this marinate for a while and then rinse it all out and come back and do the second half. She's gonna even mix the orange with the black too. Okay, this might actually come out good. Here we are with the fresh new dew, not the final dew of course. Whoa, this actually looks really much, much, much better. I mean, it's much less green. It's still a little like green, but it's fine. I've got a little bit of orange left over and I'm gonna add whatever's left in the bottle and then mix that in with all my black. We're making a little orange and black concoction now. I don't really know what to say. I'm kind of just vibing out over here, you know? Now this stuff is just gotta sit and do its thing and then I'll rinse all of it out. And then I'll come back tomorrow when it's all dry and show you guys how the final look turned out. Let's see what the outcome is. Oh. This is the final result and she says nothing. I'm thinking she likes it. I think it looks good. I think um, her roots definitely look a whole lot better and she finally got that black hair she was dying for. So I am proud of you, Ellie. That was a roller coaster of emotions for me and for you. And I'm glad you got to your final result. Though it does look a little bit green still, but it's fine. It doesn't even be perfect, right? Like, it looks good. Next time, fill your hair before instead of after. It'll be easier for you. That way you don't have to do it twice. Just a recommendation. Okay, what other videos do we have? Yeesh. This video is by Ashley's Aesthetic. Let's check it out. I'm dyeing my hair back to brown. I think I'm having such a hard time dyeing it back because when I dyed it the first time, it was such a new chapter in my life and after bleaching my own hair i felt like i could do anything a lot of people who are in my life when i bleached it and before i bleached it are not in my life anymore i've grown more in the past year than i ever have before in my life and i do kind of accredit that to my hair having been blonde it just ah, i can't even explain it i Love that. That is so cool. Like that is what I love about being a hairstylist so much is that you can give somebody a whole new outlook on their life by just changing their hair color or like their hairstyle even. Her going from dark hair to blonde hair changed up everything and she let go of toxic people in her life and grew as a person. And that is just so cool. Like hair color, it just seems like such a small thing to change about yourself, but it really is such a big thing. And even to this day, when I color my hair different colors, it changes up my whole personality every single time. Guys, 
guys, I'm watching another Brad Mondo video because I got nervous. Brad Mondo, if you're watching, I'm afraid. Um, it's gonna be okay. I think that's what I'm supposed to say, but I don't know if it's gonna be okay. I'm afraid that the red I got is really dark, but the brown I got is really dark and pretty cool tone, I think. Hopefully it covers it. Okay, my biggest fear is having splashes of red hair in the brown, but if I saturate it enough, that won't happen. Oh, that was like music to my ears. Ah. Two tubes of the brown that I'm using. I'll show you that when I get to it. I can just pour it on if I need to, because I'm not having like random red pieces when I put my hair up, but we're filling it. You're welcome, Brad. Thank you, Ashley. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm going with one part this, one part developer. I probably should have made it easier to be able to measure it, but you know what? It's too late now. It's looking a little more red at the bottom of the tube. Um, that's very nerve-wracking that something went wrong. No, sometimes that happens. Like sometimes the color oxidizes inside the tube and you get like random spots of like red. Just make sure you mix it up good. It's very pink in the middle and white on the outside. This is scary. It's exciting. I feel like you're gonna nail this. Like, I feel it. All right, we're about to go for it. I can't really see what I'm doing. Do I use the brush or do I use my fingers is the question. Maybe I'll try with the brush. I really just went in. I wasn't even... Oh my god. Okay, this is gonna be a darker red than I thought, I guess. Okay, guess we're just gonna pile it on there. Screw sectioning anyways. No, Ashley! Why are we not sectioning? What is going on? Okay, well now I know it, it'll look like dark. Not like I have a choice at this point. Okay, this is what it looks like in the back. Oh. <laughs> I need to go so I can use this mirror. I will catch back with you guys when all my hair is this dark red. Actually, this is the one of the worst applications. Thought I taught you better. Thought you were gonna listen to me. <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks saturated. This is what we're working with right now. But I'm just gonna try and clean up and then wait 25 to 30 minutes. Looking really red, but I think the brown is dark enough to cover it up. I'm just hoping I don't have red hair. My hair is so much volume. It's crazy. Okay, also, um, you can see my breakage a lot better right now because it does have so much volume. Holy breakage, holy sh a lot of breakage. Let's let's take care of that. Hit me up. I'm gonna. I'll send you some stuff to use. Um, we gotta get you some prismatic glow, some recalibrate shampoo and conditioner, some viper oils, BDSM to get to tame that breakage. I got you. Just hit hit me up. But besides that, you definitely missed some spots. But besides that, this is a good color to put black over. I think this is gonna work very well. It's gonna make sure that the black has a lot of depth to it. Now I'm kind of scared because it's not even. Either way, this has some color in it, so I don't think it'll turn green. I am. So so glad you did the filler because your hair is definitely a little compromised, a little damaged. If you just put the black right over it, it would have been a disaster. This is the color I'm using. Cream hair color in 4N medium. 4N. It seemed not very red toned. I'm glad she's using a natural because we have yellows, orange, red, everything all in there. So that is going to help give her that really nice depth to her hair. And it'll still be a very cool toned level four, which is pretty dark brown. We're doing it. She's doing the last stuff. I'm psyched. I feel like this is gonna be so much better for her hair and so much healthier. I'm leaving it in now for like 30 minutes and then I'm gonna wash it out. Guys. <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap. Is it black? I don't love it. From what I've seen so far, I think it looks really even, which is good. I love it. I think it looks so good. I truly do. I think it looks so good. I think you could afford to have a lot more warmth in the black or do just a dark brown rather than like a super, super dark brown, basically black, and have a lot more warmth. I think it'll look much more natural on you. More like your natural hair color. It's so dark. Oh my God. Obviously not expecting this. I thought it was a little bit darker than my natural color. And and because I was putting it over blonde, I know it's gonna fade a little bit. So the thing that happened is that she has very porous hair. When you put a level four on extremely porous hair, it's gonna show up one to two levels darker than um, what you're expecting. So usually like in the salon, we'll go with like a level five or six if we're trying to get to a level four, right? If somebody's hair is porous, that way they end up with the correct color rather than a much darker version of what we selected in the beginning of the process. Hey guys, it's been over a week since I dyed my hair. 
hair this is what it's looking like right now yeah so overall with the hair i don't know i feel better about it now but i do miss the blonde i kind of wish it was still blonde i don't know i'm so glad you're giving your hair a break like really happy it looks good maybe not the most optimal color for you but it looks pretty just do a little styling i just see you with like a really cool eyeliner too on but i don't know if makeup's your thing or not but i don't know this could totally be a look and also you didn't ask for my opinion but i i you should get a hair do a short chop. It'll just make your hair so much healthier. You look great though. Wow. I'm glad both of them got to the finish line, but iffy process getting there. It's all good though. You guys are learning and I'm proud of you. Y'all are becoming little hairdressers. Except not really because you still don't section your hair. <laughs> if you guys like to follow me anywhere else, you can do so right here. You can also check out my hair care and my hair color line right here. We have a new product that just came out called Super Gloss. So check it out if you would like the shiniest, healthiest hair possible with our at-home glossing system that works on any hair color and any hair texture. I'm so excited. You can also check it out with a link below and every other link will be down there too. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.